If you've been looking for a microphone that you can use directly into your computer for screen um, capture recordings and that kind of thing, then you may have come across the Blue Yeti microphone. So in this video, I'm going to give you a quick review and how to set it up. So let's get started. Hi, Demelz and Marie here with Creative Online Courses and on this channel I guide you through tips and tutorials to crush it with visual media and produce your online courses like a boss. I also go behind the scenes with a vlog of what it's like to be a mum entrepreneur, so if you are new here please consider subscribing. As I mentioned in the introduction, we're going to take a quick look at the Blue Yeti, so let's get started. So the first thing um, I want to show you is the microphone head up here. Now inside here are three microphones actually, and that means that it can pick up in various different directions. So for the price point of this Blue Yeti, it's, it's an, um, a great price for the variety and uh, flexibility that it offers. So um, here you've got the different directional patterns that the microphone picks up. So on the far left you have the stereo, then you have the omnidirectional, the cardioid pattern and the bidirectional or interview setting. So the omnidirectional basically means it's going to be picking up everything around it from all, all directions. The cardioid pattern means it's going to be picking up just from the front. So if I have this in front of me, it's just going to pick up right here and it's going to cancel out everything that's around here. If it's the bidirectional option, it's going to be picking up right in front of me and the person who I might be interviewing on this side and then it would be cancelling out these sides. So depending on your use for the microphone will depend on which um, pattern that you're going to be setting it to. Above the um, settings here you have the gain and that you can also think of the gain as sensitivity. So the higher the gain, the more sensitive it's going to be, the lower the gain, the less sensitive. And you also want to think, because it might you might be thinking more sensitive is better, but more sensitive also means that you're going to be picking up more of the um, surrounding sound as well. So you might actually find that it's better to have the gain lower rather than higher. On the other side we have the mute button and that is great if you're doing multiple takes or recordings so you can just push the mute button until you're ready. Again also if you're doing live video or something like that and you've got the live video ready already live but you're not necessarily wanting your voice actually live at that point you can have the mute button then when you're ready push the record and it will be unmuted. Just remember to push it so that you are actually recording your audio. <laughs> Down here we have the volume and this is great if you're using headphones, it has a headphone jack underneath here as well so if you want to use your headphones while you're recording that's great, it, it also acts as a, its own sound card so you can hear everything that's on the computer as well so it will pick up everything not just the um, microphone itself and uh, you can use the headphone jack there for that and then you can adjust the volume right here. As you can see here, we have a USB cable um, and uh, it, oh, well, USB cable. So basically, when you're coming to set it up, it's really pretty much a case of plug and play. Just stick it into your laptop, and you should your laptop should recognize it. If it doesn't, there'll probably be some drivers that you can download. And it's got a really nice amount of cable here, um, so you should have plenty of room for plugging into your computer or laptop. Another thing you can see here is it's got some threading here which means that it can be taken off this stand here which it comes with and it can be mounted to a boom um, so you can have in effect, if I can demonstrate here, um, you can have it hanging on the boom and directed in front of you above you like this if you prefer and you can use a shock mount to kind of absorb any of the extra movement that might be coming from the uh, microphone or anything around you. Um, that can be a great way to use this microphone because it improves the quality of the sound. When it's on the desk it can easily be knocked and it will pick up the sound a lot more easily. So if you're going to be looking for super high quality sound, maybe you're doing podcasts or something like that, then you might want to think about actually mounting on a shock mount um, instead of using this stand that comes with it. As you can see it is all made of metal so it's a really good 
make it do it doesn't feel plasticky and kind of cheap in any way so it looks good it is um, it, it's got some weight to it it feels it feels good quality so that brings us to the end of the blue yeti microphone review I in my opinion think it's a good microphone to use for podcasting and for creating online courses so if you're going to be doing your online courses primarily computer based instead of using a camera and doing things around different locations then um, the Blue Yeti microphone makes a good microphone to get good audio. I'd be interested in knowing what kind of microphone that you are using to record your audio so please let me know in the description below. Thanks for watching this video and if you're interested in more tips and tutorials on visual media or producing online courses or what it's like behind the scenes of a mum building a business then please hit that subscribe button and you can watch a couple more videos right here and if you like this video please hit the like button and we will talk soon.